Hi guys. So, some of you know me, but for those of you who don't, my name is Victoria. And I am standing here confessing that I am a Christian, and when I say that, I mean it on a deep level. God allowed me to be born to believing parents, and I was baptized as an infant. My Catholic upbringing was not exactly typical. For one thing, Mass was never in every week routine. But I heard Bible stories. My mother taught me that faith was the most important part. And I remember asking Christ into my heart at a Christian school when I was four years old. That was before the part where I basically shoved God away. Starting in first grade, I was homeschooled, learning everything through the Abeka curriculum's Christian perspective. But for some reason, the more I knew, the less I lived like I believed it. Though I could argue why macroevolution defied science and reason, I did not make the God I was arguing for a priority. My actual belief went in cycles. Sometimes I devoutly went to church with my mom. Sometimes I managed to hold the contradictory beliefs that none of Christianity was true and that I was going to hell at the same time. I did things I was not proud of. Too many times I treated other people, particularly my close family, with so much anger. I made wrong choices, and I let my thoughts go down paths for which I had to purposefully exclude the possibility of God from my mind. I treated myself, though in a different way, worse than I did my family. As just a small result, I cannot count the number of times I cried because I was reminded I could not be perfect at school, which I tried to be to make up for all the ways I felt broken on the inside. I am a sinner and deserve death. More than once, I realized that and ran to God and then ran away again. When I was at my lowest point mentally, a place with struggles I didn't tell anyone, including my parents, about, I cried out to a God I didn't even believe in. And the truly remarkable thing is, I got the help I asked for. My favorite Bible passage now is a parable in Luke 11 where Jesus reveals that sometimes God will answer prayers simply because we bother to ask. I won't pretend that my path was straight heel from that point. It wasn't. It was several more years before Rachel Eckler invited me to youth group and I started to really study the Bible. About two years ago, I basically decided to start over. I remember praying God help me do that, confess a belief in him, this time with an adult understanding, and accept Christ as my Savior, this time for good. I realize now that was the first time I came close to actually offering all of myself to God and his purpose. Since then, I have continued to learn about God, whether reading the Bible and apologetics at home, attending church, or being encouraged by a few strong Christian friends, both here and now at college. This has been a personal journey. I left the Catholic Church because I am chasing the truth in whatever gives me my strongest relationship with God. I intend that that truth should change my life, radically. I am a work in progress, but I am learning to respond to some everyday situations, as the Bible says to, and I hope to use a legal career to keep God's truth alive in this country beyond our churches. I asked Pastor Bill this summer how one knows that she's ready to be baptized. I didn't think I was. He did. I will still commit errors. I will still have my doubts, but I believe that I am saved. I cannot pinpoint one location or one moment when that happened. I think God has been working in my life a long time, but I was often too scared, too lost, or just too stubborn to see it. But I do comprehend my salvation now as I have it. I confess that God became man in Jesus Christ to pay the debt that mankind could not, that Christ suffered as God ought not to suffer and died as he would not do in his nature to pay the debt of my sin. I say that I am a Christian because I believe Jesus Christ is God the Son, my Redeemer, and because I choose to be associated with the people of his church and to serve him as my one and only king. As I told you then, I'll tell you again, when you're asking the right questions, it shows that you have the right understanding, and you do. Um, Victoria Kelly, you want to hold your nose? Okay. Um, on the basis of your profession and faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.
ready to walk in newness of life. Warmer than my pool, yes, it is. I was saved when I was six years old. I was at Awana and it was lesson time. Mr. Divine was talking about heaven and hell and where you will go when you die. At the end of the lesson, he said, If you have any questions, to talk to any leader here and they will help you. I was working with Michael Eckler and I told her about what Mr. Divine said, and how when I die, I want to go to heaven. She said it's so easy that all you have to do is pray and ask God to save you of all your sins. So I asked God to help me, and then that night I prayed and I got saved. Amen. It is that simple. The question that Vicki asked me by email was, um, so why don't people just jump into baptism the very day that they get saved? Um, we see it in Acts, but we don't see it so much today. And part of the reason for that is, is that we're looking for fruit, that God would change our lives, that we're real about going on. Have you seen changes in your life? Um, and that we continue to pursue. So have you... Satan. On the basis of your faith in Jesus Christ and your testimony, I baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Very good. Praise to walk in the newness of life. I could do this every week. I really could. I'd really love to. If you haven't followed the Lord in baptism, it's an important step of obedience. It will not save you, but it is an important step in your following after being a man or woman of God. I'm just going to tell you to read your bulletin. There's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, Destination Unknown leaves in during the hours. Um, we have service tonight. Um, a lot of great things. Um, thank you for coming. Let's close in a word of prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for new life. Thank you that we can pass from our old into the new. I thank you for the two ladies this morning who testified of that publicly. I pray, Father, that each and every one of us will have a chance this week testify to at least one other person of the newness of life of our blessed and only potentate King of Kings, the Lord of Lords who has snatched us from death raised us to life dismiss us now in your grace we pray in Christ's name, Amen we are dismissed